In this video, I'm going to be doing a Portuguese language breakdown of Vinicius Jr. We're going to see him talk about what it was like making the transition from playing in Brazil to going to Europe to play for Real Madrid. Let's take a look at our first clip. Eu cheguei lá muito novo, com 18 anos, e tinha acabado de subir no profissional no, no Brasil. Pulei muitas etapas na, na categoria de base e isso acaba ajudando que você chega mais rápido no profissional, mas acaba atrapalhando o processo que todo jogador tem que passar. So first he says, eu cheguei lá, I arrived there, referring to Real Madrid. Muito novo, really young, com 18 anos. When I was 18 years old. Eu cheguei lá muito novo, com 18 anos. So, com by itself literally means with, but it's also used to talk about how old you were at a given point in time. Now, another way of saying this is quando eu tinha 18 anos, which is closer in structure to the English translation when I was 18. Then he says, tinha acabado de subir, I had just gone up or Moved up. Acabar G is used to talk about something you've just done. No profissional to the pro level. No Brasil in Brazil. So he's saying he just made it to the pros in Brazil at the time he left for Real Madrid. Tinha acabado de subir no profissional no, no Brasil. Pulei muitas etapas. I skipped a lot of stages. Na categoria de base. At the junior level. So, categoria de base is the youth developmental program that serves as a talent pipeline for the pro clubs in Brazil. Sort of like a minor league system. Pulei muitas etapas na, na categoria de base. E isso acaba ajudando, and that ends up helping. Isso acaba ajudando. Porque se chega mais rápido no profissional, because you get to the pros more quickly. Porque se chega mais rápido no profissional. Mas acaba atrapalhando o processo, but it ends up hindering the process, as in the learning process. Mas acaba atrapalhando o processo que... que todo jogador, that every player tem que passar, has to go through. Mas acaba atrapalhando o processo que todo jogador tem que passar. So even though he rose up the ranks quickly, there was still a learning curve he had to go through, which he talks about more in the next clip. É normal que, que eu chegue no Real e, e tenha um pouco de dificuldade, porque o nível é muito alto. Você joga com, com os melhores jogadores do mundo. É um pouco complicado no início, mas com a ajuda de todos vai se tornando mais fácil. E hoje eu me sinto em casa, me sinto importante na, na cidade e no clube mais famoso do mundo. He says... É normal que eu chegue no Real. It's normal for me to arrive or get to Real. E tenha um pouco de dificuldade. And have a bit of difficulty. As in, it was normal for him to get there and struggle a bit. É normal que, que eu chegue no Real e tenha um pouco de dificuldade. So here we see him use the subjunctive. Chegue and tenha. Since his arrival at Real Madrid and... Potential struggles there aren't treated as absolute certainties, but rather as possibilities or expectations. Then he says, Porque o nível é muito alto. Because the level, as in the level of play, is really high. Porque o nível é muito alto. Se joga com os melhores jogadores do mundo. You play with the best players in the world. Você joga com, com os melhores jogadores do mundo. É um pouco complicado no início. It's a bit tough in the beginning. Now, complicado can mean complicated. But in this context, the meaning is closer to tough or challenging. É um pouco complicado no início. Mas com a ajuda de todos, but with everyone's help, literally with the help of everyone, Vai se tornando mais fácil. It gets easier. Mas com a ajuda de todos, vai se tornando mais fácil. So what's the difference between vai se tornando and se torna? Which can both mean to get or become. Vai se tornando emphasizes a gradual nature. It's indicating that it's not an immediate or sudden change, but something that happens progressively. So Vinny's saying that the transition to playing in Europe was hard in the beginning, but that it eventually got easier with time. Then he says, Hoje me sinto em casa. 
today or now I feel at home. Que hoje eu me sinto em casa. Me sinto importante na cidade. I feel important in the city. Me sinto importante na, na cidade. E no clube mais famoso do mundo. And in the most famous club in the world. E no clube mais famoso do mundo. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a like. And check out my video with Neymar next.